everyone, Tracy here with Coco Con Essential Oils. I wanted to share um, part two of our mini series on vetiver essential oil with you today, and that is three ways to use vetiver essential oil. The first part of our mini series was um, nine benefits of vetiver. So um, the first way to use vetiver essential oil is would be for grounding, calming, stress, anxiety, um, if you have that physical, mental, emotional burnout. Um, all of the, the above, um, you could use the essential, uh, vetiver essential oil in an essential oil necklace, um, which these necklaces open like a locket and you get multicolored pads, felt pads with them. You just put like five drops of vetiver on there, put it in the necklace, and then you're breathing it in all day that way, which I love. Um, you can also just take a cotton ball, put one or two drops of vetiver essential oil on the cotton ball. Carry it around in your pocket, take it out and take long, deep yoga breaths whenever you're feeling that, um, you know, like you're not being, you're not grounded, you're not centered, you need to get back to the presence, you're stressed, all of, all of those scenarios. So that's one way to use vetiver essential oil. Another way to use it is for its cooling and moisturizing properties. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make a cooling foot um, cream with coconut oil and vetiver essential oil. It's very simple. Um, we're going to take uh, coconut oil, yeah, you can come right in here, um, and you get two tablespoons of coconut oil. Now this is um, cold pressed or uh, unrefined coconut oil. Uh, a lot of coconut oil is fractionated coconut oil. This is not fractionated, and the reason is, is fractionated coconut oil has the triglycerides stripped out of it, so it stays a constant liquid and has a longer shelf life. But for me, I always like the cold pressed versions of carrier oils because all of the therapeutic value na uh, nature intended is present. So with that being said, coconut oil is anywhere from a liquid to a hard butter, depending on the temperature. So we're doing two tablespoons right now of, of the coconut oil. There's one tablespoon, two tablespoons is about an ounce. So um, at 75 degrees, coconut oil is or starts becoming a butter. Anything warmer than that, it's a liquid. Anything cooler than that, it's hard, a hard butter. Okay, so there's two tablespoons of our cold pressed coconut oil. And now we're gonna add 10, 10 drops of vetiver essential oil. Um, and the vetiver is very, very thick. Like I was saying in the uh, last video, it's, it's like molasses. Um, so when you first have it come out, it's going to take its sweet time. So hold it completely upside down. And that first drop takes a little bit to come down. Um, here it comes. Can you see it? Yeah. So I'm just going to do a few drops so you guys don't have to sit here and wait for Vetiver to dispense 10 drops. It'll probably take a minute or so. So here is um, three drops, uh, but you're going to continue to 10. So you'll do a total of 10 drops of Vetiver essential oil and two tablespoons coconut oil. And then just take a spoon um, and stir it in. And then you can put it in a, you know, preferably a glass jar. If you don't have glass, try to use a PET plastic, which is number two, you know, on the triangle on the underneath side, it has a number two in it. That's PET plastic, which does not um, interact with essential oils. All the other plastics can. So, so that is our cooling, moisturizing, um, foot cream that you can use for those hot inflamed feet or um, um, dry feet too. It's really nice for that as well. Um, so that's our second way. Our third way to use vetiver essential oil is um, in making your own incense sticks. So these are blank incense sticks. They don't have any fragrance or essential oil or anything on them. And um, it's very simple, guys. All you're going to do is add your essential oil drops. In this case, uh, you could do about 10 drops of vetiver. Um, you can also mix it up and add some other essential oils like cedarwood, uh, patchouli. All those are great for diffusing. Um, again, I'm not going to, I'm just going to do a couple drops so you can get the idea. Um, but do like 10 to 15 drops total. And then after you get all your drops on there, you need to let them dry for 24 hours. That's really important before you actually light them and burn them. But this would be great to use for meditation, for prayer, 
um, to help you be grounded, calm, centered in the present moment. And then you just take, you can um, roll the incense stick and it'll absorb up the oil on the plate. So I just wanted to show you guys that. But you can see how it's wet there from the essential oils. And when you, after 24 hours, it dries and then you're able to burn it. So that is um, our three ways to use vetiver essential oil for today. Um, in closing, I just wanted to tell you about a couple of blends that we have that have vetiver essential oil in them. Um, one is the Zen essential oil blend. That's vetiver, orange, and fragonia. It comes in a roll-on if you want to wear it as a perfume. We have lots of customers that like to do that. And then we have Cool Relief, which is our uh, pain soothing blend. Uh, it comes in a roll-on, nice to roll on the hands for any pain in the joints and the fingers. Um, and then we have it in the concentrated drops that you can add to a carrier oil for, to cover larger areas. So thank you guys so much for watching um, the part two of our mini series on vetiver essential oil. Uh, part three and the final part is uh, a DIY recipe for a hot flash spray. So I'm going to teach you how to make your own um, hot flash spray to use cooling essential oils like vetiver and some other ones too. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.